Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you how to resize and crop an image by using FFmpeg. Notice that you can use also many other modifications that you normally will apply to a video, such as modify the saturation or uh, rotating, you know, cropping, scaling, as I said. You can also apply to an image, not just a video. So if you want to use FFmpeg, you can just use also for, for images, you know, to modify an image. All right, I'm going to show you the image and what I have to do. And by the way, I'm using FF Play to preview everything. Then I'm going to show you how to actually save and apply the, the modification by using FFmpeg. So this is the image. And if I go full screen, this is just a browser screenshot. If I go full screen, what I want to do, I want to crop this image like here. So. The image 1080p, I want to crop, let's say, 720p, okay, to remove all this part that I don't need. So I can do this super easily, FFF play, then I want to apply video filter and crop. And in this case, I say 720p and the correct size is 1080, 720. That's it. As you can see, I just cropped all the upper part on here on the right down and on the left. And this is a 720p, this is the correct size already. But as you can see, there is too much white color here. This part is too much, it's empty, you know. Well, this is will be slightly more, I mean, it would be better if it's more centered, you know. So you can do that by adding the y-axis and let's say that I start from 50 let's say how it is as you can see this is not the correct amount this is way too high so I have to scroll down a little bit so I'll go to 50 pixels and as you can see this is fine it's way more centered but there is still this part here this it's just a few pixels here that I want to to let to cut out you know so I'm just going to move up let's say five pixels so from 250 to 245 and as you can see now it's perfect the blue part here it's gone and it's centered you know so I can save like that it's just perfect so you can by the way also change the the other axis the x axis if you need and by the way I'm going to show you from zero if you don't know, my my display now it's 1080, the video is I'm recording 1080p. So this is 0, x-axis, and this is uh, 1920. And this is the y-axis, this is 0, and this is 1080. Okay. So 0 here means all the... from the leftmost part of the screen. And as you can see here, I have the border. You know, here there is the border of the browser. So I'm just cropping from the beginning of the X axis. All right, that's it. This was the crop. I'm going to show you also the scale. You can use some presets here. As I say, the screenshot is 1080p and I want 720p. So instead of writing 1080, 720. You can also do that, you know. I'm going to write, I'm going to type HD 720. And by by default it's scaled to, to 720p, you know. I can lower that HD 480. You know, it's even smaller, but still it maintains the the, six, the, the ratio, you know, the HD ratio. And by the way, there are many other, I'm just going to leave a link in the description, such as NTSC, uh, PAL, you have many, many other formats, you know, presets. Or if you want, you can also put a less one and then any other amount, such as 720 in this case. And basically what less one does it uh, maintains the ratio. So right now, the original image is 69, 
and right now I'm scaling this 720 and this will be automatically uh, calculated based on the ratio so 69 ratio you know let's try something else let's try um, 630 okay and there it is as you can see it's still the 69th ratio and by the way you can also apply on the on the other side so let's try thousand and then less one okay and it will be scaled so right now the width a thousand and the hi the height is calculated based on the 69th ratio okay so this is very useful to maintain the the ratio your original image or video ra ratio okay now let's go back to the crop and I'm going to show you how to apply your modification and to actually save the file. So FF and PEG. We previewed everything with FF play and now I'm going to use FF and PEG. I'm going to give him an input and then I'm going to save this as duck duck go 720.jpg. That's it. Okay, right now just saved. As you can see, it's super easy. It's just an image, you know, you just have to crop, nothing crazy. And uh, by the way, this is very useful. Also, if you have many uh, images, you can just, you know, go up to the history and just change this one with another uh, image. And if you have some more video filters, maybe you have a color modification, scale, crop, uh, rotate, etc. You don't have to write everything, but you can just put another input and then try how it is, you know. This is very helpful, by the way, on the command line. Okay, that's it. I know that there are many other options, image magic there is, but this is um, an alternative to a graphical user interface software, such as Pinta, GIMP, etc. You know, instead of opening a graphical user interface, a GUI software, you can just do that from the command line if you know how to do scale crop just super easily you can preview or if you are sure you can also just use ffmpeg straight as i show here or you can just create your own script by the way all right that's it hope it was helpful and see you on the next time guys bye bye